automation makes your life easier and the tools that, that we use in our business um, and that we use in the companies that we own, the portfolio companies, really do make everything easier. The way that I find tools, in addition to getting great input from the members of War Room and Digital Marketer and uh, rival brands and the other companies that we own and work with, is to use Built With. Built With will allow you to go to any website and reverse engineer what they've got on their tech stack. So it gives you every single thing that they're using, and it will also tell you every other company that's using that and how many people there are and connect you with technical directors and all kinds of other things. So we find tools, like when you're on a website and you see something really cool, we find that if you plug the URL into Built With, you can almost always find out what that is. The other one is Datanize. Datanize is, um, uh, a, it has a, the ability to look by categories of tools. So if you want to look at the top users and the top tools that are being used for Hello Bars or uh, in e-commerce for an e-commerce platform or something like that, that, that is a great website for doing that. Competitive intelligence. Yesterday, Syed from War Room told you about DNS Trails and, and said use this to find out everything that Digital Marketer is doing. Uh, DNS Trails is fantastic because it will literally tell you all of the websites that are registered to everyone else and then all of the emails that are associated with those and all of the, all of the websites that are associated with those emails. It's pretty, pretty detailed information. Another one that uh, a lot of our folks use and love is Crayon, crayon.co. And you'll see also, oh, I have a laser. Uh, you'll see uh, at the top, I screenshotted these with the URLs so that you don't have to decide if it's .ai or .co or .whatever. Um, but Crayon's a great way to track everything that's happening. Uh, the two parts of Crayon that I really like are Inspire, which um, has, at this point, only about 48 million different uh, marketing designs that you can scroll through for inspiration and then also has the ability to give you competitive insights and will track everything down to customer pricing and product changes on pages, offers, all that kind of stuff. So the ability to see this stuff from the people who you're competing with so that you can see what they're testing, try it yourself and see if it works, I think that's fantastic. The only caveat I'll say is don't just blindly copy your competitors. If you see that something new is there, it is probably there being tested and uh, so you don't want to just rush into that. So here's the list that we use. And uh, Similar Web is one of my favorite, favorite tools. Tells you traffic, sources, um, and where traffic comes from and where it's going. And then also uh, share of traffic in different areas. So if you want to compare four or five competing websites and find out, uh, especially when you include yours, and find out where you are missing the opportunity to get traffic, it's a fantastic tool. So here are the major ones, Limelight, ClickFunnels, Instapage, and I, all, I always highlight the ones that I think are essential in green, and this is from all of the people who we talk to and all of the tools that we use and all the tools that I use, so the green ones are the ones that we just don't want to live without. Uh, so ClickFunnels, Instapage, and Limelight. Then uh, Unbounce, 10 minute funnels and lead pages, other funnel building solutions. So if something doesn't feel like a perfect solution to you, then consider using some of these other things. Like if lead pages is too hard or if click funnels is too hard or you don't like it or whatever, then some of these other things can be really good. Um, Optimize Press, Thrive Themes, Connective, One Automation Wiz, which is a, an enhanced version of One Shopping Cart, uh, is also still something that we use. And then, of course, Infusionsoft. For ads, one thing that we've, we've used really effectively is an ad server called Ad Butler. So on our sites, we use several different ad networks to run ads. And so what Ad Butler will do is go out and find the one that is paying the most right now for whatever is going to be served and then serve that ad so that you're making the most money that you possibly can from the ads that are on your site. So that's pretty cool. And then mid-roll for podcasts. If you're not advertising on podcasts right now, you're missing out on a tremendous opportunity. Podcasts are growing and will continue to grow dramatically as we go forward. Audio is very, very, very popular. And so placing ads on those podcasts 
it's, it's, if you don't want to call everybody up individually, mid-roll is a great way to do that. If you own a podcast and you want to monetize it, then you should contact mid-roll as well. For keyword research, keyword.io does long tail keyword research really, really well. We found that to, to be one of the better uh, finders of those for us. For videos, video sense, I absolutely love. Twin word for keyword research is our content team's favorite keyword research tool. They just can't stop talking about it. Semantic link for finding all of the words that are semantically related. And Google uses latent semantic indexing to, uh, as part of its ranking algorithm. And so this helps you see what are the words that are semantically related to the words that are your primary keywords. So SEMrush, the Google keyword tool, keyword IO, video sense. LSI, TwinWord, and WordTracker are all the ones that we think are essential. WordTracker, I will tell you, is one of Perry Belcher's favorite tools in the world. So if you haven't played with that and you like Perry's stuff, you definitely ought to take a look at it. SEO Cockpit, Keys for Up, and Semantic Link, also good. For traffic getting, ManyChat, which is Facebook automation. Hopefully you've heard about ManyChat. It was pretty much all we talked about last traffic and conversion. One signal for uh, push notifications, Gleam for contests, and uh, all kinds of other good things like giveaways, friend by, push crew, lead quizzes, hello bar, and then Yo Rocket, which is an article post title optimizer, automatically optimizes the titles for your posts based on what you want. Uh, also, we use contest domination for contests, and a couple others are WooBox, Votigo, and Viral Sweep. Check them out. If you want to really see what people are doing with contests, go to the subreddit for contests and sweepstakes and take a look at all the tools that are being used there to post to Reddit and also take a look at what kinds of things they're giving away in your niche. For SEO, one of my favorite uh, subjects, SEO Presser to rate automatically what your articles are going to do for you from an SEO standpoint. And you get to change the content of your article on the fly, and then it will change your score. So you kind of dial for success by doing that. Then uh, mobile-friendly test, it's so, so important. More and more and more of our traffic, 70, 80% plus of our traffic on our sites is coming from mobile now, and it's probably true for you too. So being sure that your site looks amazing on mobile is really important. These are just tools that we find to help us really keep our email list clean and help our deliverability uh, do well. For live streaming, OBS, which is open broadcaster software, and Telestream, two of our favorite choices. And then for images, Unsplash is the new favorite for royalty-free, amazing, high-quality art uh, and photographs. So everybody that I know now really likes this as opposed to the things they were using before. That's kind of a new one. Banner Snack, the original banner maker for making banners, makes it super easy. You don't need to hire an artist or go into Photoshop and be frustrated with how unintuitive Photoshop is. Um, icon Finder, if you want to find those little icons to use. And then... Um, all of the things we like, Photoshop, Flixel. Flixel creates cinemagraphs really, really easily. Uh, relay that for a bunch of different design templates and then resizing your images across any platform easily for visual templates. Canva is what almost everybody loves for those quote kind of things that you put on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Pick to chart for infograph infographics and then placeit.net to put your image on TV screens and phones. Our favorite traffic generating tool that we use on all of our sites right now is Optin Monster. Syed, who you saw up here uh, in the War Room Wicked Smart, is one of the smartest guys that I know and uh, he's created this and it's just better than everything else that we've tried. Uh, also BounceX for behavioral stuff and Gleam I mentioned before for contests. With influencers, for finding them and cutting deals, influencers are tremendously powerful as trust agents with any audience, especially their own, right? So Ninja Outreach, we find to be very effective at that. Our team uses it quite a bit, along with Thomason, Upfluence, Tapfluence, Revfluence. These are all very creative names, right? And Pitchbox. Oh.